Hey, what's up? It's Mo here inside the Altazy Studios talking with Professor Ray Caruso of University of Advancing Technology. Thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Absolutely. Now, tell us a little bit about your role at University of Advancing Technology. So I am one of the computer science professors. So I teach students how to write code primarily. And then uh, once they know how to write code, how to write code better. Oh, okay. That sounds great. <laughs> it's very important to, especially in this day and age. When students are looking for a school to to forward their career in technology, what are some things that they should look for? They should look for a school that is project-based as opposed to tests and quizzes and that kind of thing. You want to, in technology especially, you want to be building out projects. That's what employers are looking for. That's what you want to be developing as you are trying to get a career in tech because it's all about what you've built and what you should be working on. What are some specialized pathways in emerging technologies that UAT focuses on? You know, from the perspective of the computer science degree, if you're an ACS student, you can take these different pathways in robotics or in AI. And even if your focus really is coding, you can get this nice, broad experience in the different degrees. Because they all kind of intertwine with each other, am I right? There's definitely overlap, and it's always good to know. Um, even if you're going into network security, you do need to know a little bit of code so you can write scripts to interact with the different uh, technologies you need in cybersecurity. Now, students, they do get their hands-on experience, as we were talking about earlier. What does that look like exactly? So in my classes, it's all project-based. So depending upon if it's a you know, C-sharp class, we're going to be building C-sharp programs that you can then go and you know show off to a potential employer. If you're in my web design class, we're going to build out usually a portfolio website that you can then put all of your different projects you worked on and then show that off to a future employer as well. So really everything is focused around not just what you're learning, but also getting that job once you've graduated so that you can show off, here's all the cool things I've done, because that's really what the employers are looking for. That makes perfect sense. How does this practical approach help students stand out in the tech industry? So it's all about uh, showing off employers that you have the skills. And so the projects that we do will demonstrate that they know how to take requirements and then build those out and then have something cool to show off at the end. Now, the professor's role at UAT is crucial to shaping a student's future in tech. What is your approach towards mentoring students? It's all about um, getting to know the students and knowing what their skill level is. Are they somebody who's brand new to coding and they need to just learn what the basics are? Or are they somebody who've been coding since they were 10 and they need uh, ideas of how they can take the knowledge that we're working on and then expand it and really learn things more than just what's in the curriculum since they already have a good foundation for it. Any final thoughts on the importance of education in shaping future technology leaders and uh, anything else that you'd like to add? Well, what I love about the ACS degree is that you get exposure to a variety of programming languages. And so it's not just, you're not learning how to do one language really well, you're learning about all of them. And so then you can go on to program in pretty much any language once you have the foundation and then those, uh, the basics of the different languages. And then you can also, maybe you end up in a management role eventually and you'll be able to talk to the different developers in the different areas. That is fascinating. I didn't even realize how much that makes, how much sense that makes, you know? Um, well, I appreciate you hanging out with us this afternoon and talking about UAT. Thank you so much, Professor. You're welcome. Thank you. Of course.